Hi, welcome to this IIT Foundation series and this is our chap third chapter worksheet 1 and here we are discussing uh, some problems related to our chapter that is ratio and its applications and it is very simple and uh, and let's start that is our first question is inverse ratio of 5 is to 2 that is the ratio it is that is ratio is something that is same as that of division uh, that is we can compare quantities either by subtraction or by division and comparison by division is known as ratio so 5 is to 2 is nothing but it is equal to 5 by 2 so inverse of 5 by 2 is inverse of 5 by 2 is nothing but its reciprocal and that is changing the numerator and denominator that is the inverse of 5 by 2 and it can be written as the inverse ratio so inverse ratio is equal to this 2 by 5 is nothing but 2 is to 5 so the inverse ratio of 5 is to 2 is just interchange the numbers that is 2 is to 5 this is one question that is next question is if a is to be equal to 3 is to 4 then 4a is to 3 be equal to dash this is the next question a is to b is given as 3 is to 4 and it is nothing but it is equal to 3 by 4 sorry i can write here like this that is a is to b is nothing but a by b equal to 3 by 4 this is the another form so 4a is to 4b 4a is to 3b 3b is nothing but 4a by 3b so we can replace this a by b by a is replaced as into 3 and b is replaced as into 4 so it is equal to 12 by 12 equal to 1 12 by 12 equal to 12 is to 2 it is equal to 12 is to 12 then by simplifying that is simplify simplification is nothing but finding out the HCF of 12 and 12 it is 12 itself then divide each term by that HCF so it is equal to this is the simplification 1 is to 1 next is our third question if 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 is to 1 by 6 is equal to 3 is to x then find x that is the third question so 1 is 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 is to 1 by 6 for comparing convert it into like fractions here the denom these are something these are in the form of fractions for comparison we have to convert it into like fractions then only we can compare with it compare this with 3 is to x that is here the equal sign is for comparison so first for convert for comparing first convert into like fractions then only we can compare so we, we have to for, for com, converting into like fraction first find out lcm of these denominators that is 2 3 6 then first divide with 2 then 1 3 is written, uh, rewriting here itself and 2 into 3 is equal to 6 
then again 3 is taken 1 is rewrite it here then 1 into 3 is 3 1 into 3 is 3 if any one of the number is divided with this dividend we can continue the process until we get this 1 1 1 so LCM is equal to 2 into 3 is equal to 6 that is here there is for finding out the LCM the given three numbers if they have no common factors then also we can continue division with prime numbers by rewriting the number which don't have this divisor as the factor that is here 2 is divided by this 2 and get 1 3 is not divided by 2 so we can rewrite this 3 into the next column and then 6 is divided with 2 and we get 3 then here it is these two 3's are divided by this 3 1 is not divisible by 3 so 1 can be rewritten or replaced into the next column then this 3 is divided by this 3 and get 1 this 3 by 3 get 1 after getting 1 1 1 in the last column we can stop the process and by multiplying the these devices we get the LCM. So each term each fraction can be multiplied with this X LCM and it is equal to 3 then 1 by 3 is multiplied with this 6 we get 2 then 1 by 6 is multiplied with this 6 get 1 so we can rewrite the fractions like that that is 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 is to 1 by 6 is nothing but 3 is to 2 is to 1 here and here in the question itself it is given as 3 is to x Therefore, x is nothing but 2 is to 1. This is our answer. Next is the fourth question. Simplest form of 36 is to 48. For finding out the simplest form, we have to find out the HCF first. So, HCF of these two terms that is 36 and 48, the common here in the case of finding out HCF, we have to take the common factors as the divisor. We cannot take a divisor if only one number is divisible. We have to take the divisor as the number which should be the factors of the both of the given number. Here it is 6 is, 36 is divisible by 6, it is equal to 6 into 6, 38, 36, then 6 into 8 equal to 48. Here the common factor, common factor of these two is 2 itself, so 2 into 3 is equal to 6 and 2 into 4 equal to 8. Here for 3 and 4 there is no common factor, so 6 into 2 equal to 12 is the HCF. For finding out LCM, we can continue here. This 3 is divisible by 3. And 4 is rewritten here. Then 4, then 1, 1. Then LCM is nothing but multiplying all these devices. That is 6 into 2 into 3 into 4. This is the difference of HCF and LCM. So finding out HCF we can divide each factor that is 36 is divisible by this 12 then is to 48 is again divisible by 12 and it is equal to 3 is to 4. This is the simplest form of the given ratio. Then our next question that is our fifth question is.
if one three five and x are in proportion proportion then find x that is our question that is they are in proportion means 1 is to 3 is to 5 is to x this is the proportion if they are in proportion the product of if four numbers are in product proportion the end terms are called extremes that is here extremes are 1 and x and the mid terms are called means that is 3 and 5 and if all these numbers are in ratio or in proportion the product of extremes equal to product of extremes is equal to product of means so it is equal to 1 into x equal to 3 into 5 so x equal to 15 so we can rewrite our ratio as 1 is to that is the proportionate ratio is equal to 1 is to 3 is to 5 is to 15 this is our answer next that is our sixth question is if four persons can construct x toys in eight days then eight persons can construct x toys x toys in dash days this is our question that is the work can be calculated in man days that is work is this all equations are derived or explained in the theory session you can watch that videos for more understanding and here I am re rewriting these equations that is work is measured as measured in man days that is very important this should be very easy and at the same time sure question for competitive exams that is number of man days that is m percent number of men with number of days if there is hours are given then we can write hours divided by work done is equal to m2 persons in d2 days and h2 hours then work to this is this is the man days calculation here w1 and w2 are the same so we can rewrite like this four men works in eight days for x work is equal to eight person works in d2 days for the same x work then find d2 that is the number of days taken d2 is equal to this x and x are ne neglected that is the denominators are same so we can just ignore that term so 4 into 4 into 8 is equal to 8 into d2 so so d2 will be equal to this 4 into 8 divided by this 8 that is equal to 4 days itself that is this equation is very important number of men worked in d, d1 days each with h1 hours for a work completed is equal to m2 man takes 
d2 days and h2 hours for the same work then we can equate that and from that we can find out the given question this is very important the unknown can quantity can be find out by equating these two next is our seventh question compound ratio of 2 is to 3 and 3 is to 4 is dash here we can try we can rewrite as a is to b equal to 2 is to 3 next is 3 is again repeated in the another ratio so we can take the variable itself b itself as b as in b instead of 3 and 4 d b equal to 3 is to 4 so compound ratio is nothing but a by b into b b a b c the subsequent variables are i am selecting that is a by b into b by c equal to that is the compound ratio that is if a is to b is to c equal to a by b into b by c this is the compound ratio we can convert a is to b is to 3 a, b, a is to b is to c e, e can be converted into a by b into b by c this is the compound ratio and hence it is equal to 2 by 3 into 3 by 4 and it is equal to 2 by 4 and it is nothing but 1 by 2 and so a is to c here b and b are cancel out each other this is the method of finding out the compound ratio that is any one of the term in two given ratios are same then we can compound that ratio in this manner that is a is to b and b is to c can be compounded by a by b into b by c form and we get a is to c as 1 is to 2 that is the compounding of ratios having one common factor or one common term next is our eighth question that is ratio of rupees 2.50 to rupees 5.75 is nothing but it is ratio means simply division 2.50 by 5.75 here we can simply neglect the decimal point and we can rewrite the ratio as 2 is to 5 simply neglect the decimal part and write the ratio like this 2 is to 5 Next is our ninth question. Mean proportion of three and twenty seven is dash. Mean proportion of two numbers means that is mean. Proportion of a and b is nothing but it is equal to root of a into b. This is the mean proportion. And it is equal to 3 into 27. The root of 3 into 27 and it is equal to root of 81. And the answer is that is the mean proportion of two numbers are the root of its product and it is equal to here it is equal to 9 next is our 10th question the average of 23 24 
29 is dash average is nothing but the sum of whole quantities by the number of quantities average equal to sum of quantities by number of quantities and it is equal to 23 plus 24 plus 28 plus 29 divided by here it is 4 quantities so divided by 4 by adding this we get 104 divided by 4 and it is equal to 26 this much is our first worksheet we will meet with the next worksheet too if you are interested by this video please share and subscribe